to create some sort of space simulation using the secrets of our order. How dare you challenge us? Indeed. We'll give Earthlings a game about space, about the stars that surround their planet, and about the galaxy. About flights, interplanetary economy, and politics. About impending battles, and about civilization, which will soon emerge. This knowledge is forbidden to the Earth. And so it should remain. For tens of thousands of years, we have kept their knowledge hidden from primitive races. We have not allowed them outside of their solar system. They have been locked on their small planet, unable to learn of our secrets or meddle in our affairs. The Earthlings' technology show that their time has come. They are ready for a decisive step into space. Our work has kept pace with the wishes and expectations of gamers from all over the Earth. There wasn't a choking of three. Oh, um, the Earthling question has been brought before our council previously. It is intentional that we have given them hundreds of games about elves and farms. Gamers on the Earth are quite happy with cabbages and carrots. They have nothing to do with space. Earthlings have outgrown the usual farming games and their clones. They are smart and well-developed. They are a progressive civilization, and they will be the pioneers of space conquest. Our game is for them. Our game is about what their future will be like, and what lurks in the dark spaces. It seems to me you hide your interest behind beautiful woods. You want to trade away the knowledge we have amassed for thousands of years? We won't allow that. Earthlings cannot see beyond the end of their nose. They will never understand the workings of the universe. They will never manage to break free even from their own planet. We'll instill in them the belief in space travel. In Divine Space, we'll teach them to construct ships. We'll demonstrate that it is possible, and we will show them how close they are to traveling between planets. They'll be able to upgrade, modify, supply their ships with a variety of weapons and equipment. In time, they'll gain the ability to travel all over the galaxy. The universe is enormous. Innumerable stars and planets exist in this and other galaxies. Countless asteroids are used as mines. Many of the planets are inhabited. How will you manage to put the whole universe in one game? We use the secret knowledge and real astronomical data to replicate this section of the galaxy. The Earthlings will learn the sky map not only for flights and adventures, but also economic, political, and team strategy. We've already set the foundations in this game for an MMO version. Large factional and clan wars for the control of planets and even whole star systems. Do you mean for the Earthlings to fight amongst the galaxies for control of entire star systems? Armed primitive races are incredibly dangerous. What if they discover us? What if they become like us? It's impossible to stop them, regardless of our actions. Either they will do so in a peaceful way through the game by learning the laws by which the universe lives, or they will do it by force and arms. Exactly. In Divine Space, players will be able not only to fight exploring space, but also to discover secret settlements, face pirates and smugglers. You really have decided to tell them everything. We'll tell what they should be prepared for and what they can aspire to. All of this sounds extremely complicated and difficult. Earthlings are used to playing farms. The whole of this complicated story is not for them. They are too primitive for these sorts of simulations. You underestimate them. The game has simple controls. Even a five-year-old child will be able to master it, but this simplicity of control does not simplify the game. You will squeeze players in the cabin of a spaceship and they'll loathe both flying and you. On the contrary, we're not making a simulator but a third-person view. And the game has three dimensions. The pilot of the ship will be able to change its altitude. If the team members deploy their forces properly, they will avoid unnecessary damage. The game has a lot of elements of space technology, weapons, equipment, amazing gadgets, and other man-made devices and materials. 
We cannot condone or publicly support the distribution of knowledge of our order. You will receive no material support from us for this project. Earthlings will support us, both to create a game and win the right to exploration of the galaxy. You will lose. You are doomed. We believe that there will be thousands of people to support us. Tens of thousands of gamers. Those who look at the starry sky at night and dream of a greater life and brighter future. We believe in the earthly, energetic, self-confident, and armed with the technology that we will give them. So, this is war. Back Divine Space at Kickstarter.com. <laughs>